Hi, Daniel's Jack here from Team Skunk, and today I want to talk about Dodgeball. No, not about Dodgeball. I want to talk about Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, and part one is about the dodge. And how do you dodge? With just evasion and foresight. But let's start with the basics. There are two stats. Uh, you probably see this when you open the character stats. There is not only physical damage and so on. You also can see something like called dodge rating, which determines the character's evade against physical abilities, and the deflection rating is against the special abilities. But at the moment, no character has any stat, they are all zero. That's just because there is no gear available at the moment which uh, uh, gives more dodge rating. Dataman stuff uh, told us that the rate, the real dodge rate is between 5 and 75 percent. So this is kind of the base evasion stat of every character. And this is all the same. Every character has 5 to 75 percent. If they don't have any other skills like evasion up buff or a unique skill or some leader, give them more chances. Uh, the two buffs are the, the evasion up buff, the, that's the, this little green dot here with 10% evasion chance plus 10%. So you have 50% uh, with this buff if there is no other leader. And of course the foresight which dodges every attack, but just only for one turn. After one turn this foresight buff is done. Okay, now let's show the evasion leaders. There are some of them. The, the gray little person symbol means that this buff is for all, um, all characters, so it doesn't need to be in any certain race, that not like the others, like Ahsoka gives only uh, Night Sisters and Jedi evasion up, uh, Talia only Night Sisters, Cat Bane, Scoundrel and Darth Maul the Sifts. But at the moment Cat Bane and Darth Maul are bugged, so they, this leaderability doesn't work like it's supposed to be, this 20% evasion chance it doesn't work at all at the moment. I haven't tested it, but I heard it from many persons and uh, it seems like this is true. The two best leaders at the moment, and I can also show you the meta report in a few seconds, um, are Obi-Wan and Doku. Obi-Wan gives everyone 50% evasion. And if they evade any attack, they get 30% turn meter. Dogo is similar, but not turn meter. He gives the character offense up. I like the turn meter uh, more because if you evade the first time, you have the offense up buff, and the second time, you already have the offense up buff. This doesn't stick, you don't uh, have double offense up. It's just one offense up, but with Obi-Wan, first time turn meter, you also get the second time turn meter, so your second evade uh, is more valuable for you. And yeah, the other leaders are not that popular right now. Maybe Luminara in the Galactic War, because is uh, she don't only give evasion, her uh, leaderability also gives health and it's always good to heal your characters during a fight. And why do I show you this all? Because at the moment it's like the new meta and you can watch the meta characters on the swgoh.gg site. I bring that up. So if you go to swgoh.gg you can go to characters and then to meta report and every single uh, every single member who synced their roster is shown here and you can say okay I only wanna see 
arena teams which finished rank 1 or rank 1 to 10, rank 1 to 100. I think rank 1 to 10 is the best option here because yeah, not uh, everyone shows always rank 1 and if you see there are almost I don't know how many percent is this yeah 50% uses Count Doku and 8% Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan is at the moment behind. I think he's still better, but uh, he's behind because he was only a Chromium character for a long time and only the last few weeks he is available on in the uh, Cantina nodes. So now he's farmable and more and more users level him up and gear him up so he's uh, the new leader but there are still many who uses Doku and of course then there are the Jedi teams which is uh, kind of a counter and also Phasma when we watch the top 100 there are even more count Doku teams of course and if we only see the rank 1 teams, they are less. But this is the meta with Count Doku and Obi-Wan. Those two characters almost take 50% or more than 50% of all leaders. So go back to the presentation. Not only leaders give evasion, also some abilities like basic and special abilities. Special at the moment only Han. Han has the ability to give everyone evasion up for two turns. That's not the, the Stormtrooper Han, it's the Han from Raid but at the moment yeah nobody has or only a few people has have Han so that's not important right now. The three characters with evasion up buffs are Greedo, Obi-Wan and Luminara. Both have decent chances and uh, more than for more than two turns uh, evasion up, so they have 10% more evasion. The unique abilities, uh, Obi-Wan gives also on that if he dies, uh, gives him everyone many buffs and one of the buffs is also the evasion up buff. Someone like Java gets more evasion for every Java in the team and if he evades he gets more turn meter so this means uh, you get more and more turn meter for every Java. You want to use this uh, synergy. Maybe, maybe not. Evoke's card of course. Uh, an Evoke team is always, is always good in the Galactic War. You get more evasion uh, Poggle and Agnark also have uh, with Droids and Sid, if you go with Obi-Wan lead, 20% evasion, then there is the base evasion of 5% plus 35% against Jedi, so Sidious is something like the, the evasion king under uh, Obi-Wan lead. But yeah, at the moment I'm not sure if this means anything because yeah, he still doesn't do much damage and you always want to have uh, high DPS characters in your your arena team. Another thing is the foresight ability. It's 100% uh, evasion. It's just one free turn, you can say. And there are not many characters who have this ability. Only three at the moment. With Ray. Ray has a double chance, she has with her basic ability the 40% chance for foresight but also with her special ability if she has no positive buff on her she gets uh, always foresight, it's a 100% foresight chance. If she has a buff on her, uh, what was it? It was offense up. But yeah, at the moment we only uh, show the foresight uh, buff. The other thing is uh, Yoda. Yoda's basic is if the only if the enemy has 50 more than 50% health, you get uh, foresight. If you wanna spread 
the foresight buff around with Yoda's battle meditation, you have to attack some enemy with more than 50% uh, health. Same thing in the raid, when the ranker has more than 50% uh, health, you get the foresight buff and you want this foresight buff. It's it's uh, it's just a double protection. You don't only have the protection bar, you have another uh, shard around your character and get no damage. So this were the foresight and uh, evasion abilities, but how can you counter it? It's not like, mm, uh, let's say, Qui-Gon's uh, humbling blow uh, gives offense up. What can you do? You can't just ability block uh, Qui-Gon, so he can't uh, use his special ability. This is a counter. Or another example is if uh, uh, Doku wanna counter attack you, you can stun him. And if you don't want to get stunned, uh, you can use um, Yoda and give everyone tenacity up and then you can stun the character. So there's, or you, you give him foresight, but what's the another counter against foresight and evasion? It seems like there is no, but there are some abilities who gives better chances, I would say first one is evasion down of course this is pretty new only b2 only b2 basic has the the minus 25 percent evasion buff it looks like this it's the same thing like the green dot only in red and his basic ability says deal physical damage to target enemy and inflicts evasion down for two turns so for two turns, uh, more or less, you can't dodge anything because minus 25% is almost everything. And this buff stinks, uh, sticks very <laughs> often because his potency is 170%. So yeah, sometimes you can evade it, but most of the uh, time it will work. The the second counter is the multi attack. So if you can attack more often, you have also the chance to not only debuff the foresight with your first attack and then hit with the second. You also increase the chances to hit one of your attacks. Uh, and the um, most common where our first order type pilot five slayer. Uh, Doku is also very popular and Leia's basic is, la is um, no, uh, physical damage then the second attack chance is 55% and the third one is 40% so if you're lucky you can attack three times in just one turn and it's very very unlikely that all three misses Greedo, Cat Bane and Kid Fisto are have also multi-attack chances but aren't that popular characters at the moment. Similar to the multi-attack or just another kind of multi-attack is the assist attack. It's like it's the same. Just the difference is not your character attacks multiple times. It's just another team member. So Qui-Gon's special, GS, IG-86 and so on, they all have assist chances and so you increase that some uh, attack just hit him. As Chief Chipper uh, assists with every evoke, uh, that's very funny if all attack at the same time. Dengar's basic and Echo Unique, uh, they're the only not special abilities uh, Denga can uh, give someone an assist just with his basic attack and echo with his unique and of course the one and only uh, assist leader is Phasma she gives first order uh, teams a big assist chance but also other ones that's the reason why 
Uh, she's a uh, leader in so many teams because of his uh, her assist. And last but not least, it's the unavoidable damage. Um, at the moment, only three characters have unavoidable damage, and General Grievous is uh, a whale only, only character, Cat Bane is not very good, he is just very slow and I would say only Tebo uh, uh, gives the unavoidable damage. It's, it's the counter to evasion but it's not really a counter because when only one character or let's say three character has have this ability and multiple other characters have the ability to evasion up and so on it's it's not balanced so i think more and more characters will have an avoidable damage or uh, the evasion down um, ability so this was my little presentation to for the evasion and the dot chances and so on i hope you liked it and see you at the next video this was dennis check from team skunk